Uh, first big blue bomb as a wildcat. How did that feel rounding the bases on that? Man, it felt awesome. Like it, I haven't hit right-handed all last year, and to come back and bring it back uh, to myself and hit that for my first career Kentucky homer, it felt awesome. So it was great. I know we haven't got to talk to you um, other than the weather. What's been the biggest difference between coming to Cali to going from Cali to Lexington, Kentucky? The energy that the fans bring. Like coming here every day or every game, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the fans bring it and it makes the game so much more fun. And being, having everybody behind you just feels like a family. So that's the biggest difference to me. Through your first 12 games here, you're off, you're off to a really good start. What can, what can you credit that to? So Coach far? Ammo, I mean, he, he works with every guy. He, he dialed me in and I feel, I feel great and he makes me feel confident. So having that confidence from him and my teammates, it's easy to go onto the field and perform. So I just want to thank them. You've kind of shifted around on defense a little bit to start the year. What do you think's worked so well for you at first so far? Um, just my, I've been comfortable there, so I played there before. So just having that, uh, that uh, I played there before, it's it's been easy to settle in over there and feel good in the box as well. So, yeah. You said you didn't bat right handed at all last year. No, yeah. uh, my coach told me not to. So <laughs> coming here, uh, Coach Ammo. You know, I took a few swings and he said, I don't know why you stopped swinging. And I said, me neither. And so it's have that confidence from him to give that back to me. It's easy to go on the box, like I said, and, and perform. So. Has your stroke been comfortable all year right here? Yeah, it's never felt better. So, I mean, I'm happy that I brought it back. It makes me more versatile and it brings more value to the team. So that's all. How long have you been a switch here? Since I was 12 years old. I started hitting lefty. I'm a natural right-handed, and I hit lefty when I was 12. So it's been. You're gonna come across the country and get back to being a. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. I mean, it's 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 awesome to be able to be here and, and perform for the, the fans and the team in Kentucky. So I love it here. All right, uh, first, uh, this was your third start. Yes, you now ten innings in, yes, two sir. hits, no earned runs. What's yes, going sir. for you this year? Um, definitely my location on my on my fastball, throwing first pitch strikes, definitely for sure, and yeah getting after the zone, throwing strikes, making them hit it, but trusting my fielders and everything. Yeah, it's like that. We've seen you kind of gradually build up with with your pitch count yes, and in innings. Uh, how do you how do you uh, adjust to those kind of building up as you go? Um, it kind of just necess really happens. Like you throw um, a certain amount the next week and then you, you build off of that, maybe going higher intensity in, in the bullpens and, and stuff like that. But there's not really much much to it. Just getting getting after it. Just getting let it um, building intensity and stuff like that. Yeah. You're a part a part of the young core oh, on this team. What can you say about those group of guys it's so awesome. far? It's awesome. We're gonna be we're gonna be a really really good team of years to come. And this year this year we got a really good freshman class. We got my class is pretty good. Small class, but a lot of key parts in that class. And it's awesome. I love all of them. Yeah, so your confidence, how is it right now? It's oh, got to be building, right? Through, through the roof. Through the roof. Not not too confident, but through the roof. Confidence is a key part of pitching or in baseball in general. Without confidence, you're not going not gonna to be that great. So, yeah. All right, a 10-0 win for you guys tonight. Um, just, just some positives and negatives for today. Um, Drew Lafferty was fantastic. Um, I thought he set the tone from the very first inning. Um, Got a guy on in a second, got a quick double play. When we scored, he had shut down innings where they did not. And um, I thought Hayden Smith threw the ball great. He was on the attack and a, and a good inning by Zach Heiss. So um, those three guys are through. Ton of great defensive plays all over in the infield. Um, in the outfield, we had a ton of great defensive plays. Lopez's pick at first base was good. The ball that Shram ran down, the ball that Pete um, caught down there was phenomenal. Pete made another great play on a big hop on a, a A plus runner. So, and then we put together good at bats. I mean, um, you know, when you look up and you're able to, to walk that much and, and not strike out as much. So um, overall, just a, a complete game all the way around. The bats seemed really patient today. Was that something going into this game that was on the agenda? Well, you know, our guys have really have done a, a really good job all year about just swinging at taking this taking the balls and swinging at the strikes. And um, I thought today was a, another good example of that. And, you know, uh, we had some really good tough at-bats. We were able to draw some walks, draw, got hit three times. I thought Hindle had a great at-bat. We went 0-2 to a walk and just kept fighting. So um, they definitely showed good strikes on discipline. That is part of our offense. Oh, we've seen that Grant wasn't Grant wasn't in today. Do you have any updates on him after? Uh, no update on Grant. He's still out. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he's still out.
So with the win today, you guys are 11 and one. Um, you're one away from um, matching the best start since you've been here at 12 and one, which was 2018. What makes this group of guys so special, especially this early in this, the season? Um, we've, you know, I always start with our pitching and defense and um, we've really pitched and defended the ball at a really good level. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our at-bats, the last three games, we've just continued to have better and better and better at-bats. And um, it's really helped us. So our ability to, of late to get some timely hits, to be able to execute some big innings has, have been good. And um, it's a good group. They're super competitive. We've given a lot of guys opportunities. And um, they want to win. They have a desire to win. So th that's shown through the first however many games we've played. Yeah. I know Patrick Herrera is like eight for his last 14 or something. What can you say about his kind of emergence this season? Well, he's a guy that's really worked hard this year. Um, and even last year, he didn't need to get stronger. And we challenged him. And, you know, I'll never forget last year, we, us being even on the road and walking by the weight room and he's in there doing extra lifts, mm -hmm. you know, just trying to get stronger and trying to make himself a better player. So um, I'm not surprised, mm -hmm. you know, obviously we're starting him, we're batting him in the three hole, you know what I mean? We've given him a lot of opportunities, but he's a guy that is, even in his career, if you look at what he did his freshman year at Northwestern, you know, he's a second team all big 10 as a freshman. And um, he's, he's really done a great job with his body and I'm, I'm happy for him because he's worked his butt off to be in this position. Anything else? A lot of freshmen in the lineup today. What have you seen from those guys' performances so far? Man, five. And I've been in this league for 18 years. I've never seen it. I've never seen that, you know. Um, so they've just gotten their opportunities and they're doing great with it. They're going for it, you know. And. You know, this is a, a team where it's it's super deep. I mean, we've got seniors on the bench that could easily be playing too, you know. So uh, it's been hard trying to get all the good players we have in there, but they've been unselfish. But to have five freshmen, whew, yeah, I mean, I get some gray hair, but they, <laughs> they, I'm not having it with them, really. I mean, they really have been a, a joy to coach and they've worked their butts off. And, you know, they've been around other really good players. That's, and I, I said this all the time, you know, we have sharpened each other and um, we've had a lot of older guys sharpen them and a couple of them are redshirt freshmen and they've waited their turn and they're getting their opportunity and three of them are true freshmen. So good, good for the cats, good for them and uh, we need them to keep going.